Howdy folks, did you see that uh, that Hitachi 10 inch uh, table saw? <laughs> with um, The problem, Hitachi changed its name and I think they're hiding or something because their plastic seems to be just going to powder on their old machines. Granted, those machines are a good 20 plus years old. I have the, the uh, compound miter saw here that all the plastic just completely, and it was a green, it was that funny green plastic, just totally blew away and powderized. And the men dropped it off here. And of course I 3D printed all the plastic to sort of make the saw usable again. And I've been using it ever since. Pretty happy with it. The uh, table saw, I looked at that uh, at this junk store and thought about it and was like, you know what, that's, that's a, probably a bigger problem than what I had because I can't 3D print an entire body of a 10 inch table saw. It just would be, I would need a big 3D printer for it, bigger than I have. And then the other problem was I thought like John Hines or something there with I build it. Thought about, you know, get some plywood, make a box and create a 10 inch table saw out of plywood and just make make a new one out of it sort of thing. Because I'm sure the mechanical part of the saw is, is terrific. It's, it's, it's the uh, plastic. I did a little bit of research on Hitachi back when this other one showed up. And it is uh, said to be ABS plastic. But I believe it was third party uh, contract for Hitachi that somebody was making the plastic parts for them. And I think that's where the, the other end of the failure started. I don't know of anybody else's plastic in tools like that that's failing the way the Hitachi stuff is failing. It's just like turning to like hard plastic powder and just crumbling, you know. Uh, comments below if, if any other experiences with uh, Rigid or I don't care if it's Black & Decker or whatever, but if anybody else is seeing this sort of thing in the industry, let me, let me know. I'd like to hear about it. Uh, I know that I had a Ryobi here forever, and the plastic never, it didn't degrade like that. And it was at least as old, if not older, than the Hitachi. So, very surprised at what's going on there with the Hitachi stuff. The uh, second shot, <clears throat> which was the, the drill under a 10-inch Craftsman saw, is to adjust the bevel. and using a drill thing. <laughs> the guy had the <laughs> cut. Hmm. The guy had the drill wired up with a switch so you could run it forward or backward and he would run the bevel up and down I guess with a with a drill that he had mounted permanently underneath the saw. He had done a lot of modifications. At the back of the saw there was a, an extension 110 outlet with like six plugs for other accessories to plug into. So this fella had been busy for a while around his table saw and he had modified it, I guess, to, to his you know comfort level. But the last shot is an old Craftsman uh, planer. Now, I like a good planer and I'll bet you that was a good one in its day, but I was thinking it's so old and so rusted and so mucked up that I don't know what the condition of blades would be in. Uh, even if you sharpen the blades and got that thing running, I just, I don't know, I, I just don't think it's a usable tool at this point compared to what we have now, but you know, might have some opinion on that. <laughs> hey, we got a draw. We have a draw today for this right here. Yeah, this is a combo and I, I just one little thing I had missed on was something here that I, I forgot to mention during the show, but uh, this is from Uptech. They sent a couple of these over so we could give one away. And uh, the deal was I keep one, I give one away. So I agreed to the deal and it was like, okay, you know, if that's what you want to do, I'd just rather just give everything away myself. But yeah, magnetic uh, on the ends here with right here. And of course, so it's, you know, kind of an extra, you know, another feature that I had sort of glossed over. It has the uh, non-slip kind of, you know, rubber end on it, which was fine. But the magnetic part, I had forgot to mention it when I was trying to go through all the features that are on these little guys. And so far, uh, every test I have given it, the laser has proven to be the most accurate one I've ever run into. Because I have had these before from other companies and they were, you know, they were so inaccurate. It was like, I would never trust that thing ever, you know, for measuring something. And to this day, I'm still kind of old school, so I still like to see the, the scale. The other thing that this one had that just in case anybody missed it the other week or 
last week was uh, the scale is on both sides of the tape measure, which again, kind of, you know, that can be pretty handy to a lot of people too. And a good tape measure can make the rest of the, you know, make everything else go a lot better because that's where things start, right? You measure it, then you go cut it, you know? And the measure twice, of course, and cut once and all that. Um, I've measured three times sometimes and I still manage to screw the cut up, but that's, you know, that's a human thing or whatever. So we got to do this. This is around, uh, I think they retail for around $49. So it's not a cheap outfit. It's a good quality tape measure. There's no Uptech for whatever reason, there's no brand name on it that is their tape measure, but I do know for a fact, I mean, that's who sent it to me and that's whose website has these on it. So, you know, whatever. So here's a brand new one from Uptech, still in the box with the seal on it and everything. So this is what we're drawing for is a brand new one of these. So, tickets. We had quite a few entries, not too bad, not a lot of entries, but quite a few. Uh, it was somewhere around, I think about a hundred. And let's get them in the box or the barrel. Yeah, the draw barrel. Should we do it right? I guess we'll do it right. Yeah, from Lowe's again. It's like I said, the Home Depot bucket is tied up, so we'll do, we'll do that. And we'll mix the tickets up and see if we can find out who's got this thing coming today. I see a lot of familiar names in there again, which is cool, you know. But, yeah. A lot of entries from uh, Canada this week. Wow. You know, I guess a lot of Canadians would like to play around with that laser and just check it out. Oh, do, don't, do not ever shine that laser in your eyes or your pet's eyes or anything like that. That laser is just what it is. It's a laser. There's a reason that you use a set of goggles for protecting when you're doing like engraving and stuff with a laser. A laser is like a welder, you know, it can damage your eyesight, so you don't mess with that part, you know. Oh, let's see, anything else going on this week? Yeah, a lot. Uh, we were going to do a fun show yesterday, and it got canceled. Uh, there were some problems with the shooting, and I really wanted to get back to that, but uh, we wanted to come up, pick up some of the projects I've got. I'm trying to rebuild some Pioneer speakers. I'm also working on a Bose speaker system problem, and... Uh, Oh, and the TV cabinet. I started with the TV cabinet uh, weeks ago and we sort of filmed on and off as we progressed through and it's finished. And so we gotta, maybe we'll show that today later on. But right now, let's get the tickets out and we'll see who's got a, who gets this tape measure. And then we also gotta put another tool up for draw for next week, you know, for Thursday's next, next draw. Meantime, let's see what I got here. Okay, Tim Allen. Studio B in Hollywood, California. What? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, Tim, you don't get that. Okay, we have a winner. Can't say I've ever seen this name before, so maybe it's a new viewer that wrote in, but uh, let's see. How are we going to do this? He's in, what state are we in here? Oh, New Hampshire. Wow. Up in there. Milton. And its uh, first name is Don. He lives on a mountain highway, so it's Pretty rocky up in that that neighborhood. <laughs> wow! Congratulations, Dawn. Uh, I will ship this out to you. Today's Thursday. Okay, we will get this probably mailed out to you tomorrow, and on its way to you, Dawn. And again, congratulations. Thanks for watching the show. Thank you everyone for entering again for you know the tape measure. And when we come back, we will be looking at a uh, a review. I guess and another giveaway. Uh, and uh, so, wow, Dawn. I'll put this ticket with you just so that we don't lose you because that did happen one time. I put the ticket down somewhere and lost the box. But anyway, so there will, again, we will destroy all of this, destroy the email box, completely blow it out. Yeah, there was a lot of offers in there again from uh, lawyers overseas somewhere to split bank accounts and you know, millions of dollars, whatever. Uh, they, they just don't give up, do they? And We've got another laser coming in. Well, I've got another laser right here behind me. Uh, we've got the longer laser. I think what we're gonna do the longer is, uh, I don't know, we're gonna have to think about that one because the company wanted me to hang on to it while they shipped me the new modified, bigger, better, stronger laser for it. And I don't know if I wanna do that or not. I was trying to like, wanted to box it up and put it back in the little baggies and everything and throw it back in the original box and give it to a viewer because, you know, I've got another one behind me. 
and we have another one coming in after that one from what I've heard crazy you know I also have a box of uh, a toolkit that's supposed to be coming in that's a multi tool kit but it'll be an interesting that'll be a fun again a fun show I also have some other project stuff I wanted to get into and I have not been able to get to these things so uh, when we come back let's see what we can't get into uh, the next item up for up for bid well up for draw and uh, we've done a review about it and we've had it for a while it's been just sitting here on the back table but I would like it to go out to a viewer ta-da yeah there we go <laughs> This is the Saker Aluminum Miter Saw Protractor, and it's kind of a neat little tool, and uh, we'd like to be giving this away to somebody that watches the show. So this is what we're gonna be doing right now. Yep, this is the one. And again, same old, same old. Let's get my head down here someplace so I can get that up there. The uh, email box to enter for the draw for the Saker is going to be right up here, but it's it's coffee and tool rewards at gmx.com. The other item here, uh, in the when you email us in the subject line, just write Saker S A K E R, and again I'll put that over my head so you can see it. But down in the description below, we'll put the uh, information for the contest and for the entries, and then in the body of the email, just like you were doing it on a a letter for the post office, just your name and your address, and that's it. And then we cut up the tickets. Now, if you've watched this long, you're gonna find out something else. I did a second draw for a second for the other tape measure that I've already opened, which is this box here. Unfortunately, the camera failed. I don't know why, I, the camera went off. So I put the one I was using and that I demonstrated last week back in the box. It's not as nice, I guess, as having a brand new one, but... <laughs> and a winner for that one I had drawn was Lonnie in Geronimo, Oklahoma. I thought we already sent something up that way, but uh, maybe this, yeah, this has got to be a first. Uh, Lonnie, congratulations in Geronimo, Oklahoma. You are getting the other tape measure that I've already had out of the box. Sorry, Lonnie, <laughs> but you get the booby prize, I guess we'll call it, I don't know. The camera cut off and we had the bucket up here and I, I explained I was going to be a little bit roguey and go ahead and just give the other one away. It really sort of is against the company policy that uh, the deal that they made with me, but uh, I don't see any reason why not. I, you know, I, if their brand name was on it, like Craftsman or something, and it was sitting back here, I could see you know having that tape measure around. But because the tape measure has no brand naming on it, there's no reason or sense to have it laying around here anyways. And I have my favorite tape measures that I keep that are specific for my jobs. So, you know, yeah, give it away. So congratulations, Lonnie in Oklahoma, and congratulations, Don in Milton, uh, New Hampshire. You, you're both getting tape measures this week. Yay. And then next Thursday, we'll draw the tickets for the Saker and get that out to uh, hopefully a good winner. And tomorrow, we're going to do a review on another product. So we'll be coming back with that. And uh, meantime, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that intro with those weird things. Those, oh, I've got something, uh, gonna have a problem showing it to you because it's so dangerous and so stupid and so silly a tool that I don't believe anybody should ever do this, but I ran into it at a yard sale and it was like, I have gotta, I've gotta show you guys what was going on. It's just, don't ever do this, but we'll, we'll come back to that next week or something. Meantime, hey, thanks for tuning in to Coffee and Tools this week. And uh, like I said, tomorrow, new product tomorrow. Uh, Basically all about security around your home. Hmm, I don't know. And uh, I'm out of here. Hey, over and out. <laughs>